There is a dilemma for President Trump. It's actually not really his dilemma, although it's an event that we anticipate he will attend. The White House Correspondents' Dinner. Uh, and usually, uh, by the t this time of year, they've announced who the host is going to be, who's going to MC this whole thing. And it's... Uh, has not been announced yet because they don't have anyone yet. I mean, there's a whole thing of. about whether there's going to be a boycott. There are some media outlets that, which I think is a huge mistake for, on their part because then they look totally biased. It's crazy for them to do this, but they're not, uh, they're not attending in protest. But a lot of them are, and it's still a big event. And so the question is... it's who supposed is, to be a fun event, and it's good. It raises money for scholarships, so... So we got the one guy out last night who is the roast master. I mean, he is the guy that has done all the Comedy Central roasts. He is considered, I think, the best roaster of all. Yeah, they call him the roast master. He, uh, Jeff Ross. Yeah. Um, and he, it would make sense. So we're dying to know, would Jeff Ross accept the gig? He was very clear. You know, the White House Correspondents' Dinner is coming up. Would you MC it? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah? be the greatest show ever. It'd be right, my right. patriotic duty. It would be the greatest White House correspondent. It would be huge. It would be my honor to roast the first Orange American president. Is anybody off limits? Is Ruth Bader Ginsburg off limits? Um, not in my heart. No? I'd really be going there to try to get her phone number. Oh my God. I think she's That's awesome. so sweet. Well, there you go. Oh my uh, God. We know Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she'll be there. Do, they, do the uh, Supreme Court justices go? I don't know. I don't know that it's, it's not like the state. I can't imagine you. they'd be invited, right? Um, but so anyway, so this has become a big deal. Jeff Ross, down with doing it for sure. But there are comedians that are not down with doing it Hands and are off. very serious about not doing it and think it's a bad idea for anybody to do. Among them, uh, Alonzo, uh, Alonzo Bowden. Bowden. Yeah. Alonzo Bowden won uh, Last Comic Standing season three. Uh, he has Guy's very in, strong yeah. views in the opposite direction of Jeff Ross. Uh, and Alonzo joins us right now. Hey, Alonzo. Hey, how you guys doing? We're good. So you heard uh, Jeff Ross. You don't agree, do you? Oh, good for Jeff. But no, I don't want to be hated by every black and Latino person in America and smacked by my mama. No, I'm not doing this You, you did that in the wrong order, Alonzo. It's smacked by your mama first and then all the other people. Uh, either smacked way, by your mama I'm is more losing. important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But Alonzo, isn't that just succumbing to bullying? No, no. It, I think it's what you think is funny, what you can do with it. I don't I don't want to be... Um, the problem with the Trump administration is if you do anything with them, you're considered endorsing them. And I just don't want to be part of but that. But Alonzo, but, but I, I, I would also say this. I mean, you're not really doing something with the Trump administration. And in fact, you're going there to roast the president uh, so you could have some fun with it. And it's really the White House correspondence association isn't has nothing to do with the administration yeah but here's the thing i've never seen donald trump laugh at a joke about donald trump well that's they, a good point no sense of humor so you tell a joke and it's a good joke and i then they start chanting fake joke or something like well, that okay but, okay but here's the thing <laughs> if they chant fake joke good on you because then it's even funnier but if donald trump doesn't laugh but you get your barbs in haven't you accomplished the purpose and this this nonsense that You'd get the if you go, to laugh. it's somehow an implied endorsement. You're roasting the guy. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I well, it's like the um, like the inauguration, right? I mean, yeah. if you perform there, the reason nobody wanted to perform there because they were considered endorsing. It's I different. Think it's you... di it's different because with the, with the inauguration, that's his event, and he's the one that's asking. Here, it's not him. It's the White House correspondents, and they mostly hate him. So why not accept their well, invitation and do your thing? I, I said, look, <laughs> why, why are we trying to sell Alonzo? I don't know. I'm just trying to sell Alonzo. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> what do but you I would say, Alonzo? is there any way that you would do it? Like, I mean, if what, I guess, let's just, you know, throw it out there. What you should, should possibly happen you want, I want to, that would on. make you do this? Is there Listen, something? I, obviously, career-wise, it would be huge, right? I mean, huge, you know, huge. It, it's a tremendous move. The only way I'd do it, I guess, if I could get away with having them think I'm on their side and then get up there and totally flip it and, and just go into attack mode, that, that would be the only way I could do that. Uh, but, that, but, 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 but then you wouldn't be funny. I mean, if it just becomes an attack, isn't there a line? No, but between... you can do, the attack would be funny, right? That's what you're talking right. about, about a roast. I mean, it, that's what a roast is. A yeah, roast but that's, is what you, that's what you would do. You talk, you talk about Sweden 
I mean, you, you know, <laughs> of course you would do that. You know right? all those Sweden jokes you got loaded up? I mean, come on. <laughs> Man, I got hours of Sweden material that I've been looking for a place to do. Just came in, you just flew so, from Stockholm. Yeah. Oh, you're like... You should hear my, my Swedish blonde jokes. They're killing. They're killing right now. All right, well, this what do you think of Jeff? Reconsider. If, uh, Jeff would do it. What do you think of Jeff as the uh, MC? Jeff would knock it out the park. I've known Jeff a long time. Jeff is hilarious. And yeah. And I, and I wouldn't lose any respect for Jeff if he took the gig and, and killed it. There you go. I don't think they'd want Jeff there because, again, I just don't see a sense of humor in this administration. Jeff, no, no Jeff I did know. it twice. Jeff did it twice. He's roasted Trump twice, Alonzo. But that's a different setting. And also— That was before— he was president. That's well, when he he's was the same guy. Hey, to Alonzo's point, remember what was it a couple years ago when uh, Donald Trump was invited to the White House Correspondents Center, and they made a bunch of jokes at him, and he, he was did not smile and he got pissed. Right, but yeah. but this would be somebody he's comfortable with who has roasted him before, so he's the safest in that sense. But Jeff Ross would not back down, right? Oh uh, no, Jeff wouldn't back down. I think they're going to find somebody like Dennis Miller or somebody friendly to the administration. That's who I think they're going to get. Uh, is Chachi funny? Can Chachi host? Is that, that, if the, he could, the correspondents aren't going to do that. They don't the want that. The correspondents aren't reaching out to Chachi. Yeah, they don't want that. <laughs> well, uh, I, I know the car, it's the correspondents' dinner, but doesn't the president or someone no. in the administration have to no. play it's, along? It's him. It's, it, it's, it's the correspondents. I mean, the, they've never had a situation like this where there's been this kind of animosity and since Richard Nixon. So, I don't know. And I don't think they did it back when Nixon. Okay, Alonzo. You're, All right, well, we didn't sell you on it. Out of the running. Okay, we tried. Thanks, guys. Now, it seems like we Jeff tried, is the Alonzo. last man standing. Yeah, last man standing is, is Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Hey, I, I think it's great that even when George Bush was president in the midst of two wars, you could find comics that wanted the gig who don't want it now. <laughs> well, that's a point. Like, oh, that's you only started point. two wars? I yeah. can play with you. Yeah, you can have fun with it. Oh, no, I don't go orange. <laughs> you see, that's awesome. <laughs> you, Alonzo, hey. you got good material. <laughs> I just, just think about it. Don't close the book <laughs> completely yet. If we start a war with Sweden, ah, I'm in. There you go. Boom. Well, hey, stranger okay. things have happened we in got, the last We got to scoot. See you, Alonzo. Thanks, Alonzo. Thanks, man. guys. Make sure to subscribe to TMZ Live to keep up to date on the latest entertainment news. And if you want to keep watching, click on one of these videos right now.